Heads up. What's up, YouTube? We're back at it with another episode of World Twilight Golfer. Where are we off to? In this episode, we'll be swinging into Canada, and we'll be looking at the top 10 golf courses in the country of Canada. Now, there's 2,400 golf courses to choose from as of 2021. We're going to be breaking down the top 10, and all these golf courses are really winners. Let us know if we missed any golf courses on this list. Number 10 goes to Fairmont Banff Springs Golf Club. Now, this historical golf course is an 18-hole golf course that stretches 6,938 yards for a par 71. It was built in 1927 by Stanley Tomlinson. Now, this course is only open from May to October. Truth be told, this golf course should have been a, bit, a little bit higher on our list. With all its historical background, it was definitely a great golf course to start us off for the top 10 in Canada. In 2020, Golf Digest named this the golf, top golf course of Canada. So there is no reason why this shouldn't have been a little bit higher. That's going to move us into our number 9 spot. The Devil's Paintbrush. You heard that correct. The Devil's Paintbrush Golf Course was built in 1992. It's an 18-hole private golf course outside Toronto. Now the course stretches 6,780 yards for a slope of 131, a par of 72, and as you'll see from some of this footage, it is a link-style golf course. The golf season started well, the golf season starts from May to October to the end of October. The course was designed by Dr. Michael Hergent and Dana Fry. Now, there is two golf courses at this facility and designed by both golf designers. The other course that didn't make our list, but it's going to be mentioned here, was built in 1990. Now, that's the Dell Pulpit course. It's a par 71 that stretches a little bit further, 7,172 yards. Its slope is a 136, and it was built in 1990, so it was the first golf course built at this facility. It was an overall ranking of 74.4. Now that will bring us into our top eight golf courses. Now the next one is located in Toronto. Now that golf course is the Toronto Golf Club. It's going to make eight on our list. It stretches 6,836 yards for a slope of 141 and a ranking of 73.7. Now, it is an older course. It was built in 1912. The architect of the golf course was H.S. Colt. And the private club had updates in 2010 by Martin Halltree and Ian Andrew. So between the updates and the location, it's going to make eight on our list. Moving into number seven, that Hampton Golf and Country Club. A lot of information about this golf course. We're going to be looking at the west and south nine-hole golf courses that combine to make 18 holes. It's a private links golf course that is a par 70 and is 6,928 6, yards with a slope of 136 and a ranking of 74.1. The course was built in 1915. It was designed again by Harry Colt, H.S. Colt, and had updates twice, once in 2000 by Tom Clark, and again in 2014. There appears to be a total of 42 holes of golf at Hampton Golf and Country Club. Now, we just mentioned those two nine-hole golf courses, but there was more. The first Canadian Open took place at this golf course in 1919. It hosted since then six Canadian Opens, the last one being in 2019 where Roy McElroy. The course has also hosted the Canadian Amateur Canadian Open, Canadian PGA, and the Canadian Women's Amateur Ch Championship events. And that's going to do it for this golf course. It's going to move us into our top six now. And there sure is a lot more golf courses to take a look. And if you're liking the video so far, make sure you subscribe below. Keep a lookout for more videos to come because we're going to hit every country around the world. 
and we'll be ranking those top golf courses in the country, just like we're doing in this video. And it's going to move us into number six, Capilano Golf and Country Club. So this is another private golf course here that is a par 72. It stretches 6,760 yards. Its overall slope is 133, and the course has a ranking of 73. A little 18 old golf course that was built in 1937 by Stanley Tomlinson. It had updates since then in 1993, and also, again, by the same golf architect in 2017. That golf architect is Doug Kirk. It's going to bring us into our top five. Number five goes to Beacon Hall Golf Course. Beacon Hall Golf Club is a private 18-hole golf course that stretches 7,037 yards. It's a par 72 that has a slope of 138 and a ranking of 74.8. The course was built in 1988 and was designed by Bob Cup, Mark Carrick, and Thomas McBroom. Now this crew came out and put together some beautiful 18 old golf outside Toronto. Now this golf course probably should have moved a little bit further down in our list. There's no championship or events that have taken place, hasn't even hosted any of those. But it is a beautiful golf course from these aerial views that you cannot deny that Beacon Hall should be a top 10 golf course in Canada. And it is going to move us into number fourth on our list, Jasper Park Lodge Golf Course. Now this is a public golf course that you're able to play. And there's no denying that this is the top 10, top 5 golf course here. It only stretches 6,663 yards and a slope of 124. It has a ranking of 71.1 and a par of 71. The course was built in 1925. And it was built by golf architect Staniel Tomlinson. Its golf season is only from May to October. The course only hosted the Canadian Amateurs event a few times, but it was never designed to be a championship layout. And just like that, we have three golf courses left on this list. If you made it this far and you don't agree with some of these golf courses, comment below and let us know. It's going to move us into our top three. Number three for Canada goes to Highland Links Cape Cod. Now this is not a nine-hole golf course. This 18-hole golf course in Clubhouse opened in 1941. It is a par 72 from the Blue Tees. It stretches 6,592 yards. It has a slope of 141. Its golf designer was Stanley Tomlinson, who's been on the list a few times so far, and even more as we get closer to our top golf course. The season goes from May to October. It's compared to the Cypress Point of Canada. That's what some of the nicknames of the locals have. It. But it's only from $90 to $130 for a round of golf here. So this is a bucket list golf course that is playable and a top golf course for the country and probably around the world. But that is going to move us into our number two golf course on this list. And it is a private golf course, so it would be a lot harder to play than this beautiful golf course here. And that course is St. George Golf and Country Club. Now, it stretches 7,014 yards from the back tees. This private golf course is a par 71 and has a ranking of 74.4. Its slope is 136. It was built in 1929 by none other than Stanley Thomason. Now, it had updates from Doug Cardrick in 2014, and Ian Andrew was involved in that as well. The golf season is from May to October, and there's some beautiful golf here to be played on this private course. Going to move us into number one, Cabot Cliffs Golf Course. Now, this is going to make our number one golf course for Canada. It's an 18-hole link-style golf course that stretches 6,700 
and 64 yards for a slope of 141 and a ranking of 74.3. It was only built in 2005. Golf designers of this golf course were Ben Kershaw and Bill Moore. This golf season again is from May to October. Now there's two golf courses here at this location. There's the Cliffs, that's our number one golf course, and has won numerous awards with Golf Digest. You also have the Lynx course, which is another 18-hole golf course that's won numerous awards as well, just not as high as the Cliffs. It didn't break into our top 10, but we're not going to give a resort to golf courses in any top 10 for the most part. And then you have the Nest course, which is a par 3, 10-hole golf course. So this is a destination we're looking to play top golf course in Canada. That's going to do it for our list. If you made it this far, make sure you keep a lookout to come. This is World Twilight Golf.